All right, so the first Instagram, much to the delight of your production producers, <laughs> is that I always say I hate doing DIY. So you can see in my expression. <laughs> Look at your face. I know. I am really into lampshades lately. I think decorating and customizing a lampshade right now makes your house even more personal and more interesting. So I went to this ye old lampshade shop on Beverly Boulevard in Los Angeles. Is it literally called ye old lampshade shop? It lampshade looks like shop? that to okay, me. It should be. You, but it's you. very fancy. The man who okay. owns it showed me Barbara Streisand's lampshades and this and that. Wow. And I said, well, how much would it cost to put a trim on the bottom of this lampshade? And he said, I can do it for $300. <laughs> and I thought... Sorry. I wasn't born yesterday. Yeah. I know how to make a Persian frittata. <laughs> I'm not spending $300. Go away. So... Basically, all you do is you buy, you know, you can buy bric-a-brac, pom-poms. Bric you can actually get fancy and order upholstery tape from online. But bric-a-brac um, is so fun. It's really fun, right? It's so cheerful, too. So here's how you do it. Um, you know, and I'm not an expert. I've only done this once, but I did a really good job the first time. You hold it on like this. And you keep going around the top and the bottom. And you can customize this. Fabric shades are easiest to work with or paper. But have some fun picking out the trim. It could be multicolored. Can, can I keep doing this? Yes. While you're doing that, I'm going to explain to everybody what's going on here. So my staff um, in Chicago is amazing. And we install these people's homes after we've worked with them for like two years sometimes, buying furniture and lamps and lighting and all of that stuff. So we came up with the Nate Burkus kit. And it's basically for oh, moving. Oh, cool. Moving or for, there it is. Look at that. Um, and, it, and this is what we have in a duffel bag when we descend on someone's home, whether it's new or a, 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 a renovation. Um, first of all, where's my toilet paper? It's okay. I think everyone knows what it looks like. But um, when you go to someone's new home, even if it's this gorgeous new home and you're working there, they never have toilet paper. So we always have toilet paper and paper towels. And then just a few other highlights. A drill is in our duffel bag. Furniture, uh, moving pads, because sometimes so even, smart. even fancy designers don't put the chest of drawers in the right place. So the easiest thing is to be like, I think it would look better on that wall. Um, we bring black Sharpies all the time. We mark out, any, and we actually have brown ones as well, so we can fix any little nicks. Thank you. There you go, guys. <laughs> there you go. That goes in your kit. A proper tool kit um, and a hair dryer, which is super random, everybody. But um, when you're gluing stuff with your super glue, if anything breaks during the move or during the installation, you don't want to stand there because you're unpacking boxes, you have a million things. This helps everything dry faster. So have that with you. How's, oh my God. A massively. I did it. A, <laughs> wow. Yay. It looks so not, good. Not bad. Yeah, it looks so good. This, this side goes Wait, no, towards the wall. It always does because that's the seam, so you oh, don't good. have to worry so about fine. that. It looks perfect. That's very cheerful. Oh. I did it. Yay. Look at that. So the next thing that we I talk about on Instagram or on my website, NateBurkus.com or Nate right now, are window shades. Ooh, I'm that working, looks awesome. Isn't that cool? So I am doing a new collection with the Shade Store, which I love, because they came to me and they said, what's a basic category that you think you could improve upon? And I said, shades, roller shades. Yes. They're always boring. We always picture them like dirty, dirty and yellowed. Dirty, white, and, yeah. right. Ugh. So we did a collection of, of patterns, which was really, really fun. And so this is beautiful. one of them. Um, and they're great because you have this opportunity um, to create something Nate, that, I love that shows these. your they're personality so a little hip. bit. Yeah. Isn't that cool? They're so cool. My tip, though, is how to layer a window. And one of my big pet peeves, will you help me with this? Sure, babe. So one of my big pet peeves about draperies, let's just hook this up over the on the hook, okay. is that when you get your draperies perfect and you constantly have to close them over and over again, yeah. How's your side doing? Yeah, I'm doing okay. I just gotta yeah. re-loop the end um, okay. on that one. Perfect. Okay. So, you know, in design, I'm constantly like moving when I go to people's homes. I'm fluffing draperies. I'm making right. sure that they're landing the right way. Right. That they're not too wrinkled. That Poppy's toys aren't behind them. So <laughs> adding a roller shade not only gives your home an extra layer of detail, but also I never have to move the window treatments ever. So right. Those you get can privacy stay perfectly. with the shade. They yeah. just stay. And I love that these almost disappear. So those are my three Instagram. Where do you get these? Tips. I want some the of these babies. Store. The shade, the shade store. store.